good morning everyone it's Saturday it's the weekend and it's going to be an amazingly uh, unseasonably warm October day so today is October I think 15th it's going to be in the 70s and sunny so we're heading out on the water you can see the boat right there Duane is filling it up with gas um, so we're going to um, be heading to Tiverton and we're going to launch from the Sakonet Bridge uh, boat ramp and we're going to go out looking for togs, looking for black sea bass, hoping to get the personal best for both of, of those fish today. But then again, every time I go out, I want to get a, a bigger fish, right? Isn't that, isn't that what this is all about? And um, yeah, so it's going to be an amazing day. And if you've um, had the chance to subscribe, if you like what we're posting on our channel, um, please do subscribe and uh, hit that notifications bell, hit that like button. And uh, we have lots more fun food and travel uh, videos to share. But um, we'll see you on the boat and hopefully you'll see us catching some fish. I knew if they uh, served any kind of real purpose, but they're here. They're here. Uh, now I'm in 40 feet of water. So this got deeper. We're moving around. There you go. Good. Hopefully it ain't a toadfish. Jeez. Yeah. Is it a tug? Oh, I got something. Small tug. I'm on the, yeah, I don't know on the board I for today. We'll see. Oh. Big? Uh, it stopped fighting. It must be a tog. <laughs> oh. Bingo! Yeah. Who got it? Oh, All right, I think I'm winning. You are. He is winning. <laughs> All right. Too small to keep. Neither one's the keeper, but. Oh. Well, know. target species. No, no, no. And I'm on. I'm on squid. Oh, see, I told you it builds the bite. I'm trying and to get my pieces. I'm trying to get it back. Oh, you're being greedy now. Let the poor thing eat. Ha! I wasn't giving him that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get you squared away. Yep. Squared away here. Yeah. Mine ate the entire crab. The crab's in his gullet, I think, at this point. 
Oh, oh well, those legs leaving. off our crab. It's gonna save us time. There we go. I might leave those out on the sun deck here. Yeah. Uh, well, if you give me a pole, yeah. you want to dump a few down. Yes. Yeah. Just open the bag and dump uh, a these few. Are the legs? It's a mixture, so you gotta. But this that, is that so has skins and legs. That's why it's not gonna just break apart easy. Just dump some of the legs. Oh, I got them this time. A little baby though. And it is a little baby sea bass. Welcome to the nursery. Come on, boat swing. Bigger, but not big. That's yeah, tug. Baby one. Big ones still haven't found us really yet, hon. Or they're not biting. Or well, maybe we do need deeper. Feels like a little better. It's got a little fight to it. No, it's another tug. See, a little better, but not nowhere near. I mean. It's Junior. <laughs> it's Tug Junior here. Come on, Junior. Let go. I'll send you back home. Come on. I know you want to go home. There you go. Hey, oh. But they ate all my crap. Oh, let's see what I got. Baby something. Uh, if I even have them anymore. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, wow. You had a lot of fight at the surface. Who got the smaller? I think yours is a touch smaller. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Not very much. Nope. Ow. Excuse my mic. Yeah. Get hook. These are sharp hooks. Come on, got yous for the for the win. Oh, oh well. Uh, oh my God. Oh, what do you got? I don't know. But I got him. Get him in. Oh, he's stopping. It's got to be a tog. Yeah, it's a keeper. Oh, awesome. Now they're coming. That's a keeper. Yes, sir. <laughs> wow. Uh, Maybe the bigger ones are coming now that we started uh, feeding the babies. Oh. Get off that hook. Oh. So hard to get them off this hook. Uh, that's what, well, I want them off the hook first. <laughs> He's too strong. 17. Cool. <laughs> There's a start. We are, we are not shut out. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys have seen me cutting them to bleed them. It's better for the meat. And I feel it's more humane. It, they die faster instead of just suffering in a bucket. So I think that's really the way to go for a couple reasons. Oh, oh you were. I saw it looked like you were snagged and had something. Like if you're losing, that's the first thing you want to check is if you still have a barb. You might have a point and able to get them in. We do, but it's the actual barb that's what holds them on. So. And we had it happen I, not that long ago, remember? It was totally crushed in completely on the hook. I think it was shore fishing now. I, I know it was, it was over by Mount Hope. Yeah. One. Yeah, you're almost there, hon. We're both almost there. And I've been using little crabs pretty consistently. They've been real easy to hook. In one leg, out the other, you know. Uh, You're right about prepping in that home first. Oh, heck yeah. I mean, this has been so much easier, right? For baiting up between, like in between each bite. Shallow. Super shallow. Oh, God, our line is. Let me see if I can pull us out a little just by tugging on the anchor. Okay. Because this is, I don't like this 20 feet. Most of them at like 35, 45 last time. We're not probably in the right exact hole area. What does that say now? 
one line so it shouldn't let us go so close. 14 and a half. But I got caught in the bottom. And when I pulled free, I pulled the sinker off. Oh, no. Nah, uh, yeah. Nope, a hook and a sinker. So I lost from the hook. I was waiting for that to take off with it. Eyes on there. I got one. It's not that big. Oh, maybe. I don't know. It's not big. It's a tug. And. Oh, short. Uh, foul hooked. Oh, no wonder you fell for sure. Nope. It's a tug, though. Oh, I got one. Oh, it let off. Oh, I lost it. On the switch. Uh, I had a nice one. Gone. You got off. This, Baby. Hold on. I got to put a glove. They're so hard to grab this without a glove. Slimy. Nearly impossible, honest, to be honest, in my eyes. Even with a glove, they can still escape pretty well. Yeah. Oh, it's one of those awful looking toad fish. <laughs> Ew. Oh, he can wait a minute then. Ew. This thing is nasty. Oh, they're horrific. <laughs> All right, I still got baits. They've been hitting it, but uh. Totally, totally ate my uh, crab, though. Well, one crab. Yeah, oh, yes. look at the mouth on the thing. The mouth is, it looks like a baby monkfish. It's so ugly, isn't it? It's Yikes. all head. He's all head. So hard to grab. Super slimy. I mean, and, and you catch him on the tiniest bit of flesh, and it doesn't, and it holds. Yeah. I mean, you barely. No, it's or it's a baby. Maybe it's a baby now, but I don't think so. 36 feet. We're holding a really nice depth here. Baby sea bass. Oh. Uh, this spot's working out pretty good now. Your entree into the restaurant business began. Get him on. He had a 
Bring it closer. Bring it closer. Bring it closer. It's not quite a keeper. Nice one. Nice one, though. Nice little guy. 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 Yeah, my buddy. See, the bigger ones are coming around. I caught him on the squid. Well, there's still a crab there. Yeah. Did he eat the squid or do I still have it? Big fish! Pretty much it. You okay. think? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Then Unless he's right. foul hooked, he's big. What is That's it? It's a good tug. Oh, hopefully a keeper. Close. Yeah, I think he's good. under. But he's still a nice fish. That's oh, he is fat. Oh. The way it got hooked is just horrific. Come on, little guy. I'm not gonna. I'm throwing you back. It's all good. Thirteen. Not bad. Uh, little guy. A little the, one. From the nursery school. I might be able to help you in a sec, yeah. Uh, I'm coming up. I can handle I just got hit. Mess. A few. And he ate the crab. There we go. Yeah, they're destroying my crab here. Good. Did you get them? Yeah. Nope. Oh my god. What? Double foul hook. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? No wonder it felt good. <laughs> sea basses, both. Two foul hook sea bass. How's that for fishing? <laughs> nice one. Oh, look at him fight, hon. Well, fighting better than a baby. Better than a baby. <laughs> but oh. even our better than a baby's have only had one keeper so far. Yours, almost right. <sighs> That's better than a baby. Short though. Almost 14. Close. Last time we threw out like three or four th oh, 15s, remember? I know. He had it in his mouth for a bit. All right, bring it closer. Bring it closer. Bring it closer. It's not quite a keeper. Nice one. Nice one, though. Nice little guy. Come on, buddy. See, the bigger ones are coming around. I caught him on the squid. Well, there's still a crab there. Yeah. Did he eat the squid or do I still have it? He pretty much ate the crab. <laughs> it was just a shell, so he, he came for nothing. No, he came for squid. Yeah. Hey, look, you got a bunch of squid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good oh, fish. Big fish. You think? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Then Unless he's right. foul hooked, he's big. What is That's it? It's a good tug. Oh, hopefully a keeper. Close. I think he's under. But he's still a nice fish. That's oh, he is fat. Oh, the way it got hooked is just horrific. Come on, little guy. I'm not gonna. I'm throwing you back. It's all good. Thirteen. Not bad. Uh, little guy. From, oh, the, little one. from the nursery school. I might be able to help you in a sec, yeah. Uh, I'm coming up. I can handle I just got hit mess. a few. And he ate the crab. There we go. Yeah, they're destroying my crab here. Did you get them? Yeah. All right. I'm getting good at the sea bass as long as they don't eat it. They got a nice big mouth and. And they open it wide for you. They're not at all like the togs. No. That was not the tug that I wanted. No, of course not. Ugh, I'm trying to... Do there we go. Got it. There wasn't much crab. They're a pain. I'll get you. They really are tough. Yeah, pretty good though. You didn't do bad. Huh? You didn't do too bad. You're, just, you're gonna lose the top shell though. It's all right.
heck with that? I got a giant one. Look how big this one is, hon. Good. Yeah, no choice but to cut that. Oh, I hope not. We need a good... No, it's a freaking toad thing again. Oh, God. Doormat. Oh, that's a big one. That really is a doormat of a toad. All right, hold on. Day did turn out as gorgeous as everyone said it would. Um, every layer is off except for the, the last one. And uh, fishing was great. Lots of bites. So far, only two keepers. None of them were mine, which is unusual, must say. Um, and uh, now we actually have a, next to this boat ramp is a, uh, it's like a bait shop and tackle shop, a marine shop. And it has docks. And we can dock here, go in, buy whatever we want, and come right back out and get right back on, on the water. Of course, we're probably the smallest boat here. There's the bait shop. That old New Englandy building straight up ahead. And yeah, there's a nice four winds right near us. Another, I think that's, yeah, it's a bow rider, but it's definitely wider and fancy. And uh, lots of fishing boats. And of course the bridge with all the people fishing underneath it and with the kayakers fishing the structure at the bottom of the bridge underneath the pylons. Ah, got him that time. Ah, uh, feels good. Oh good, maybe the keeper. Maybe I'm hoping. Get hot now again. Oh, he's, oh wait, you know, uh, he's a good one, but I don't think he's keeper. When I got him, huh. hey, legit in the in the mouth. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve inches. Yeah. Oh, no. And he ate my crab too. Oh shit, man. He's fighting. This is a. Uh, 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 it's a tog. <laughs> oh, it's a tog. I thought it was a sea bass. No wonder he went to the crab. You got the record. Record tug. Seven. Seven. <laughs> what we are now. Come on, baby. Bring them in. No, I think this could be one of those frogs. No. Oh, it's nope. a little stronger. Maybe it's a bigger toad. All right, let me move this hook out of the way. Come over. Let's see what you got. Remember, bring it close to the boat. Close to the boat. Oh, my God. <laughs> tug and... A not keeper, two no keepers. We got to find out about these freaking frog toadfish. They've been a nuisance today. Came off okay. That came off Thank easy God. Come <laughs> on, little guy. I'm trying to work with you here. Yeah, we want to catch you in about five, six more years, right? Uh, I think yeah. We got about five years to go. At least four or five. Uh, I don't know. He started off nice, but that was his first no fight, fight at all. It's a tug. <laughs> yep, it is. <laughs> I took the last. They see the sun yep. and just call it a day. Yep, it's over. I lost. <laughs> and that's how you know it's not a toad fish or not. No, toad fish is just like a wet doormat. But there's never a. F I mean, there's a lot of fight in these little guys when they're down low. But, I mean, he was only 10 inches, so he was not a whole lot of to talk. There it is. But I'll take a 10-inch tog and not lose my bait. Try again. Get it in, man. I'll get it in. Just, you want? Oh, you got it. Oh, might be keeper. Well, I'm off the bottom, so. This one looks close. Uh, this is nice and close. Absolutely. But right, that tip of the lip, right on that zero line. <sighs> and I got a good hook on it too. Yeah, if I can get it out. Yeah, we have to completely unfurl him to see if he can keep. 
God, he's got that hook. <laughs> I couldn't even get the hook out. That's crazy. The best variety from 2K to today. There it is. Not a keeper. Under 14. Wow. one felt it, hon. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, you got oh, him. Yeah. This might be it. <laughs> See, told you they were getting bigger. See, she had a fight. Oh, I might have just foul hooked him up. No, I didn't, but oh. it, the hook didn't go all the way through, so it made him come up kind of cockeyed. Yeah. See how it's ha it's in the mouth, but it didn't pierce the second, Yeah. like the gill. Alright, he's not a keeper. Oh, the bike is easing. Oh yeah. Keeper. Keeper. <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh I'd say I think we got a keeper. I don't think I have to grab on If he's a keeper. Uh, we're gonna find out. 16! Yes, you got <laughs> Number two. Hey guys, we're in a new spot, same island, different side. Got a couple bites so far, but we'll see what what happens here. Is it? Yep. Big one? A big one. Well, we know what I said. He said he's going to eat this. I'm not going to touch it. Not on the boat and not on a plate. Uh, just lift it. Keep it off. Keep okay. it in the air. Keep the slime off. So. Slime Limit off. the slime. Oh my god, I think I got nothing but shells left anyways. Here, so. Media here. A um, little bit of an outro before we head home. We ended up having a so-so day. I mean, we have two keeper togs, one keeper sea bass. I caught so many of those toadfish. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, Dwayne, <laughs> Dwayne kept two because he looked up on Google whether or not they were edible and apparently it said it was excellent fried and now he wants to cook them up, cook up some of those fillets. I, I can't even look at the fish alive, let alone in a fillet pan or a frying pan. But anyway, um, so we're going to do a, a, a video that we're going to tack on to this one so you can see him cook and eat these toad fish things. And uh, you'll see in the video what they look like. Um, not appetizing at all, at least in, in my mind. Um, but yeah, a couple keepers. I did break a pole, or actually Dwayne broke my pole when it got snagged on a rock and he tried to unsnag me. And the tip, uh, more than the tip, a couple of the eyelets and everything just kind of snapped. It was my favorite uh, boat pole, so um, we're just going to replace it. And um, hopefully we'll um, be back tomorrow where we'll have more keepers than we're taking home today. Okay, well, signing out. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we will catch you on the water, in the kitchen, or on vacation soon, or in one of our local restaurant favorites. Okay, from Duane and Nidia, signing out. Bye. Bye, everyone. See ya.